Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to go my review of SummerSlam 2007. Starting off the evening we're going to go to our first match of the night. It is Finley versus Kane. I thought it was an okay opening matchup for SummerSlam 2007. Back and forth matchup between Finley and Kane with Kane keeping the pace of the match. Kane hits a step up Enziguri on Finley. Kane then hits a sidewalk slam on Finley for a near fall. Hornswoggle is here. Kane then attacks Hornswoggle. Finley then exposes the turnbuckle. Finley then hits Kane with a shillelagh. Kane then gets up. Hits his signature choke slam on Finley. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match is Kane. Hats off to Kane for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a triple threat match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship and a no disqualification match. The match itself was a really good matchup. Back and forth matchup with everybody involved with Umaga keeping the pace, the, keeping the pace of the match. Umaga hits a diving headbutt. Then, then Umaga hits a Samoan spike. Pins for the three and your winner of the match. And at that time, still, WWE Intercontinental Champion is Umaga. Hats off to Umaga for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Rey Mysterio versus Chavo Guerrero. I thought this was a good match. Back and forth matchup between Mysterio and Guerrero with Mysterio keeping the pace of the match. Mysterio hits a somersault senton on Chavo to the outside. Ray then hits a Hurricane Rana on Chavo as well. Ray hits a step up in Zaguri on Chavo. Chavo gets up, applies a half crab on Ray Mysterio, but Ray breaks the hold. Chavo then hits a gory bomb on Ray for a near fall, but Ray ultimately hits his signature 619 on Chavo Guerrero, pins him for the three, and your winner of the match is Ray Mysterio. Hats off to Ray Mysterio for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a Divas Battle Royal with the winner getting a WWE Women's Title Shot Opportunity. The match itself, it was an okay match. Back and forth matchup with everybody involved. Beth Phoenix and Michelle McCool were the last two competitors in this match with Beth Phoenix eliminating Michelle McCool. And your winner of the match is Beth Phoenix. Hats off to Beth Phoenix for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. It is John Morrison versus CM Punk. The match itself, it was a really good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Morrison and Punk. With Morrison keeping the pace of the match. Punk then hits a power slam on Morrison. It looked absolutely brutal. But Morrison ultimately hits a roll up. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match. And at that time, still... ECW World Champion is John Morrison. Hats off to John Morrison for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Triple H versus King Booker. I thought this was a good matchup, um, especially the video package they had played prior to Triple H coming out to the ring. It was absolutely awesome. He was coming back from injury. Uh, the match itself, like I said, really good match. Triple H was keeping the pace throughout the entire match. Triple H applies a figure four leg lock on Booker T, but Booker breaks the hold. Booker hits a book end on Triple H for a near fall, but Triple H ultimately hits his signature pedigree on King Booker. Pins him for the three, and your winner of the match is Triple H. Hats off to Triple H for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is Kali versus Batista. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Kali and Batista with Kali keeping the pace of the match. Kali hits Batista with a steel chair. Referee ends up seeing this and your winner of the match by disqualification is Batista. Hats off to Batista for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night as well. It is Randy Orton versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. In our main event of SummerSlam 2007. The match itself was a really good match. Back and forth matchup between Orton and Cena. With Orton keeping the pace of the match. John hits a leg drop off the top rope on Orton. John then applies an STFU on Orton. But Orton breaks the hold. Orton hits an RKO on Cena for a near fall. But John gets up. Hits a FU on Randy Orton. Pins him for the three. And your winner of the match. And at that time still WWE Champion is John Cena. 
couple of things I'm going to say about SummerSlam 2007, man, before I get out of here. Number one, this was a solid event. I'm not going to say it was the best SummerSlam I've ever seen. Damn sure it was not the worst. Uh, a lot of matches on here were really, really, really good. Uh, number one was a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. It was Mr. Kennedy, Carlito, and Umaga. Rest in peace to Umaga. It was a great match. And honestly, it goes to show you how Umaga was a force to be reckoned with within WWE at that time. Man, he could have been a multi-time world champion, in my honest opinion, man. Umaga was definitely, you know, he, he definitely had the talent for sure. That's, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Rey Mysterio versus Chavo Guerrero was a really, really good match. A lot of history between both Mysterios and the Guerreros. So, uh, the match, I mean, the match pretty much told itself, man. It was a fantastic matchup between Chavo and Rey. The Divas Battle Royal, I could have done without it, but <clears throat> all in all, it was a decent match. John Morrison versus CM Punk was a really good matchup as well. And obviously the main event being Randy Orton versus John Cena was also a really, really good matchup. If I had to give SummerSlam eight, uh, 2007 a solid rating from 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it a solid 6, man. 6.5 at best because, like I said, it wasn't the, the worst SummerSlam I've ever seen, but it damn sure was not the best. Some of the matches were good, but some of the matches I could have done without. But all in all, SummerSlam 2007, I would have had to give it a rating of probably 6.5 at best. But... This is my review of SummerSlam 2007. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic. Peace.